got three here, two more in the back. We're only burning post oak wood. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a Texas thing, right? The the, the post oak for the barbecue. Yeah, it's a local wood. Uh, yeah. It grows from Texas all the way to Virginia in the arid regions. Uh huh. It's also known as the iron oak. Oh. But yeah, this uh, this wood's so abundant here. They say we run out of cows before we run out of the wood. Um, yeah, my brisket went on at six this morning. We smoked it for twelve hours. Are you familiar with how this offset smoker works? Not entirely. I mean, I do some smoking at home, but I well, really don't out. know it. This it's a fancy way of saying it's got a firebox on this end. The firebox sits lower than the smoke chamber. They sit offset one another. That's where the name comes from. But the magic comes from this fire right here is where all the heat and smoke to cook everything in the whole chamber comes from. The live fire sucks in fresh air to stay alive. The elevation changes and the stack in the back creates a natural draft or draw, pulling the hot smoky air through here and it indirectly cooks all the meat inside. We smoked the brisket 12 hours, the beef rib 8 hours, the pork rib 6 hours, the house made sausage and the turkey for 4 hours. Oh, so let's do the moist. I like moist. Just so you can see the difference, the things are have more meat and the moist is going to be more wow. juicy. Oh. oh uh, we'll you. just take those two big pieces. <laughs> <laughs> she loves beef ribs, so. One, two? Just oh, one. He's not going to eat The thing with those is they all, they all come in Texas size. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's no such thing as tiny in oh, Texas. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. All right, you see our cows? So delicious. Mm. Oh, this is the best part. I got 29 brisket. They went on at 6 this morning, so they're almost 7 hours into the 12 hour cook. Wow. All right. I just can't keep this door open very long, so I just okay, ask so you to get your photos get when I open okay. it because um, my temp's already low. Okay. Whoa. Yes. So every couple hours we get in here and we just rearrange them according to how they're cooking. There's not a method of this row goes here and that row goes there because they're all different. Only way I'm going to get it right is pick them up one by one. If it needs more heat, I'll push it back towards that back wall, the front row or the back row. If it needs more color, I'll get it in this middle. If it's cooking too fast, I'll get it closer to the doors. Thank you, really. We yeah, appreciate you're welcome. it. It's cool. So my name is Matt and uh, that's Jonathan out there and we're cooking all the barbecue today. Well, you did a good job. We just ate lunch there. It was delicious. Nice. Where yeah. are you from? We're from California. Oh, rad. Jonathan's yeah. from the Bay Area. California. Oh, really? Yeah. He's from the Bay and I'm from North Carolina, so we got East Coast, West Coast oh, We're, we're going to North Carolina next month. We're going to do a barbecue tour. Where we're going to get up go? to Lexington. And Lexington, yeah. okay. But my hometown is Aiden. Uh, uh, we got I've the heard skylight in there, dude. Uh, they, they've been cooking barbecue since the 1850s, and the oh brick God. and mortar's been there since the 1940s. Yeah, see, we're going to do the barbecue show. We're starting in Knoxville because okay. uh, Joe Bonamassa is going to be playing a concert there, and nice. she likes Bonamassa. So if so. you can't make it to Aiden, uh, the Skylight Inn, uh, Pete Jones' son is Sam Jones. So they got <laughs> Sam Joneses around North Carolina. They got like three or four of them now. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you can't do the original oh, Pete Jones Skylight Inn, make sure you yeah. try the Sam Jones. Okay. Because it's all whole hog and it's all vinegar based and it's awesome to try. Well, I've seen the skylight in, so we're actually going to try to get there. That's so. my hometown. So oh, the, really? The, the, the town is so small, we have to uh -huh. put two towns together to get one high school. <laughs> That's and the great. high school still only had like 500 people in it. Oh my God. That's where, my mom still has my house that I grew up in there. Like I said, Aiden, that's, that's my hometown. And that's I got really a lot known for its barbecue, too. For that barbecue so. restaurant, because I grew yeah. up playing t-ball for them. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's not many restaurants have been open since yeah. the 1940s doing barbecue. That's it's, true. It's a big deal. Actually, not many restaurants have been open period. since the 1940s, yeah. period. Right. That's, yeah, that let's just go good. ahead and settle it there. Well, that's cool. He's, he's from Aiden, where we're going next month. Oh, great. Yeah, the Skylight Inn, you gotta try it out. Yeah. Alright. Okay, well, thank cool. Thank you for the tour. Thank you yeah, so much. You're welcome Appreciate so it. much. Alright.
your first time? It is. Wow. So where are you guys coming from? Uh, California. Oh, not too far. You want to let you know that yeah. crispy and turkey is sold by the slices, yeah. the ribs are by the bell, and the sausage are by the lean. Okay, let's get two slices of brisket. Moist. Let's do the moist. moist. I like moist. Just so you can see the difference, the leans are have more meat and the moist is going to be more wow. juicy. Oh, uh, we'll just take those two big pieces. <laughs> Those, they all, they all come in Texas size. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's no such thing as tiny in oh, Texas. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You see our cows? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you guys want to get today? Okay, you want a sausage? We don't get a sausage, huh? Oh, oh I love burn ends. I used to uh, get them in Kansas City. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know, you want to know more about this? We also give you a free smokehouse pit tours. Oh, really? Yeah, you can yeah let's outside. do that. You want a pit tour? You can show you how to do this, take pictures, record it for free. Oh, yeah, let's oh, do yeah. that. Just walk in there. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for checking this out. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, young, you want a beer? You want a water? Um, beer. Let's get a beer. Just one? Just so one for her, yeah. And I'm, the water's for me. Okay, cool. Okay. Got it. So we've heard mixed reviews about Terry Black's. We have some people say it's really good. We have some people say it's not as good as it should be. And uh, we decided we better go. We better try it out for ourselves. Yeah. This barbecue looks pretty legit here. They gave us they gave us a sample of their burn ends, which are like the ends of the brisket with all the seasonings on it. They also gave us some pork because they said Young's gonna like that. And uh, they gave us. A giant beef rib. The gentleman was so nice. Yeah, they were all very nice. Yeah. Oh, this isn't the barbecue sauce. This is the hot sauce. Oh, this must be the barbecue. This must all be barbecue. Okay, so how come this one is not How can I drink? You don't twist it off? No. Oh. Oh. Da. I just can't twist it. So what do you got? It's a Shiner Bach. I got another. That, that's going to fall right off, so be careful. Let's try it. Oh my God. Giant beef rib, burn ends, brisket, pork, banana pudding, mac and cheese, uh, cream corn. Of course, we got some jalapenos for young. And they gave us pickles and onions, which you get with all Texas barbecue and bread. Let's dig in. Okay. Which one you want to eat first? Burn ends, of course. Okay, they have three different kinds of barbecue sauces. I don't know which is which, but... Mm. Also, they say everything's bigger in Texas. It's true. Even the burn ends are bigger here. That's got a lot of seasoning on it. It's got a lot of flavor. It's really good. I like that. Now, that's their pork rib. Now, you don't usually come to Texas for pork. You come here for beef. But, you know, you got to try the pork. Good? Mm -hmm. Cream corn. I like my cream corn. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a little bit sweet. Yeah, they probably put sugar in it. Hopefully there's no sugar in the mac and cheese. No sugar in that, that's a good mac and cheese. 
Oh Banana God. pudding better be sweet. It's done in this type Yeah, the burnt ends are good. Look at this, that. This is perfectly cooked. But in the inside, it's a sea juicy. Yeah. I fell in love with Brennan's in Kansas City. They were just wonderful there, but they're really good here. There's your Fred, Fred Flintstone rib again. Yabba dabba do. Wait, I have to try this one first. It makes me so happy. Wow. Oh, no, 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 not too high. What are you doing? Okay. Now, personally, I like the burn ends better than the rib, but oh. she's loving the rib. Oh. Look at the inside. <laughs> oh my God. This is heaven. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to have to go to heaven. I taste the heaven. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a heaven. How it tastes like this? So, so bad. Oh. Oh. Mm. I love Estella. Big uh, rip. That was really good. This one is a little bit different. Different kind of a good. Well, the interstellar beef rib was a short rib. This is just a regular beef rib. Oh! Well, that was a short rib. Yeah. Oh! Now, they have three different kinds of sauces here. I just tried the one, and that was tangy. It wasn't particularly spicy or anything, but it was a good sauce. Now that I've got the brisket ready to go, Take a piece of the brisket. Yeah. Look at the brisket. Now this sauce has a yellow tip, so I'm guessing it's a mustard-based sauce. Yeah, it's more yellow. Yeah, that's a mustard sauce. I definitely like the red sauce better. And then, of course, try the last sauce, which is a plain... Okay, that's a standard sauce. I just cut it in the middle. Because I love this, but I can't really finish it. And inside, see really piping hot. It's really, really hot. Amazing. Really hot. So we've come to the conclusion that Austin is a really nice food city. Um, although I will tell you, the best things here so far have been the barbecue and the tacos. Those are, those are the best things here. But we had some really good Chinese food last night. Surprisingly good considering it's the middle of the country. Um, so Austin's a good place to come to eat. It's definitely a good food city. In Texas, you got to get the Texas specialties. And banana pudding is one of them. So I've been eating banana pudding at a couple of places. Just to compare and contrast. I mean... I'm doing this for you. I'm not doing it for me. Actually, the other banana pudding we tried the other day was better. Yesterday? Yeah. The banana pudding was at Interstellar, I think. This is good, but it's not amazing. The other one was amazing. This one's good. It's different. This yeah. is really good. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. So, I think they actually blend the bananas into the vanilla pudding rather than having slices of banana in their pudding here. 
excellent. I love this restaurant. The food is really, really good. Going into this amazing. The original Black's barbecue was in Lockhart. Terry Black's is essentially wound up separating out. And so Terry Black's, although it's a derivative of Black's Barbecue, it's not the same thing. It's a different different company. Um, and they've franchised Terry Black's. And so you have several Terry Black's. And some are better than others. That's what we've heard. And so some people say, oh, Terry Black's isn't very good. Well, they've gone to a franchise restaurant that isn't as good. And uh, then we've gone to the ones that are good. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. You, you know, we're not having any bad barbecue while we're here in Austin. It's all good. Some is better than others, but it's all good. Usually, the meat right next to the bone is the best part. Mm. It's so good. Mm. So delicious. Mm. Oh. This is the best part. Thanks for watching our video from Austin, Texas. We're really enjoying this trip. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows you liked it and maybe it'll show other people. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, we've got about a month's worth of videos from Austin. And so make sure to subscribe to our channel and you'll get notification every time every new video from Austin comes out. If you want to see other videos, make sure to tell us where you want us to go, what you want us to eat, where you want us to tell you about. We'll be glad to eat anything, go anywhere, review anything. Just let us know.